Fabian, we're back. We have a fantastic Barry. For those of you who don't know, uh, we had a blog talk radio show going for uh, a couple of years, the Entrepreneur Club, and now you're seeing us in video. <laughs> and uh, we're back to stay now, streaming live. Fabian, let's bring them up to date on uh, what the Entrepreneur Club is all about. Ooh, that's a mouthful, Barry. Um, what is the Entrepreneur Club? Really, it started as a little brainchild between Barry and I and a group of our colleagues trying to figure out the problems of why so many failures of small businesses in America. We found out that eight out of 10 entrepreneurs of small business who start up end up failing before the fifth year. So with such a dismal result, we decided to do something about it. Barry and I have a lot of corporate background and experience. We are turnaround specialists for major companies, and we've been doing a lot of turning entrepreneurs' mindsets around and making them profitable and making them successful and making them large. So we thought we'd, this would be our give back. Yes, exactly, Fabian. And uh, first of all, the definition of entrepreneur, because uh, like you say, eight out of 10 business uh, failing, mainly because people don't realize that they got to have staying power. They got to know when to stay and, w and then also when to quit. That's right. And so that's a lot of things we'll cover in uh, shows to come. And then the difference between a business owner and an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is a life choice. That means that you're in it to win it. And, you know, you're going to break some eggs. You're going to fail. You know, most entrepreneurs have some failure in their background but they keep at it until they get it right over and over again. You know, uh, risk is in the definition of an entrepreneur. You're so right, Barry. What we're trying to do here too is help people fulfill their dreams. A lot of people have passions, they have ideas, they have aspirations, they have all kinds of desires to accomplish things, but if you don't have a road map, you don't have a business plan, you don't have a blueprint, you don't have mentors, you are going to ha be cruising for a lot of bruising. So we're here as a offering to our community to assist those young, dynamic, and those established adults who are transitioning out of corporate life into entrepreneurship, to give them a little roadmap, a little blueprint to help them to see the experiences of other successful entrepreneurs so that they can model success and avoid those bumps in the road that we had to go into all oh, so many you know uh just over and over again fabian right. and um, i'm glad that we're here to be a help to people um it may sound like barry and i are real successful today and most likely by anyone's measurements we probably are but we did not start here uh, we had quite a bit of trial tribulations and some blood sweat and tears and we wanna share our failures as well as our successes so that everyone can kind of see the trials and tribulations you have to go through sometimes and the sacrifices and the perseverance that you have to sacrifice in mm -hmm. in order for you to succeed. Fabian, I tell you, you know, I just think back on all the ventures we've been in, you know, <laughs> some successful, some not so successful. Yeah. Uh, Matter of fact, we have a, a code among entrepreneurs that uh, we really don't like doing business with anybody who hasn't lost. Because <laughs> you really don't know what's going to happen if somebody loses money. Are they going to just like run for the hills and not want to, you know, play the game anymore right. or not? Right. And so uh, we want to help people to understand that risk is in the definition of entrepreneur. And, and along that same lines, Barry, you have to realize a lot of people don't realize the entrepreneurs it's a it's a character choice it's a it's a choice of nobility as well because you have to understand fairness you have to understand legalities right, you right. have to understand character you got to know and have and be obvious about what is important to you and what's important to your family uh, entrepreneurship is not really it's a actual commitment to be all you can be and use all your god-given talents and gifts to the maximum and it's, it's certain key qualities that an entrepreneur must possess. The ability to sell. I mean, if an entrepreneur can't sell, 
He really can't be an entrepreneur, can he, Fabian? <laughs> Not at all. And a lot of people don't realize we are all salesmen in one way or the other. Um, prime, really before the corporate America took over, we all were small business sales people. We had to always banter our, our own goods and services. And now we're learning how to do that more internationally. The world has turned into a global village now. So we have to learn not just to sail amongst ourselves, but the other villages around the world as well. Exactly, and then also understanding that even if you don't want or don't expire to be an entrepreneur, sales is everything you do. Even to get a job, you gotta sell yourself. <laughs> oh, we gotta have a show on that, baby. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. gonna be a big one. And we're gonna have guests uh, who are gonna tell their stories on how they made it, you know, and what were the trial and tribulations along the way. And, and, and just as a quick uh, antidote, many people don't know that Barry is a champion and world-class salesperson himself. He's led many teams across the country in, in some major corporations in order, and came out to be number one. He's turned around some of the worst stores across this nation, and I will, I will mention them best buy to add one, and turned those sour stores and made them pearls. He all, he's always been doing this all his life, so he's one of the best people that you're gonna learn sales force techniques in. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it is a, takes a certain person to, take, to build a team, uh, you know, and, and be given a group of people and saying, make them winners. And so I pride myself on that. But Fabian, you know, um, talking about accomplishments, uh, tell us about the award you got from the president. Oh, wow. That was a little way back, a couple of decades. But I, uh, I was fortunate to lead a team of 37 individuals uh, to do over $60 million worth of food for the Bosnian uh, operation uh, that took place in Hosokovina. And we kind of mounted uh, uh, a campaign to take all of the food from the family farmers in the South, match them with some historically black colleges and uni universities, technicians, and sold those produce and meats and 14,000 food products to the military, and uh, we did pretty good. I uh, was fortunate to uh, win a, an award from President Clinton on his second inauguration, and he gave us the Small Business of the Year Award for that accomplishment. Right, and, and we say these things not to impress you, but to impress upon you uh, the talent that you have between the two of us and the reason that we came to champion this cause. We're both avid advocates for entrepreneurship. And uh, we want to get as many, an army of entrepreneurs created through this club. Mm -hmm. That's what we call the Entrepreneur Club. And uh, we've geared up, and it's not the Barry and Fabian show. This is your show also. We're gonna have it where you'll be able to call in on future episodes also. And our goal, again, is to help your dreams come true. We want people to not just dream, but also have plans and definitive aims and implementation of that dream to make it real and manifest it. We want to, we, our intent is to make sure if you do have an idea, if you do have a dream, and you are passionate and you got guts and you got heart and you got brains, and you have a God-fearing mentality, we're here to help and to make them come true. And some people have a desire to be an entrepreneur, but they don't know what to do. So we have solutions for them also. We got a lot of ideas, a lot of things that we champion that we've uh, redid our research on and said, gave it the thumbs up. So we'll be talking about that in future shows also. Yeah, Bear, we had this wonderful show once. Um, we did, it was called the Youth Entrepreneur Show. And we had young entrepreneurs and all types of small family businesses and they came in with their inventions and talked about their uh, their business plans of how they were going to expand it's a wonderful thing we are really promoting now uh, for the established adults to get their kids interested in going in business for themselves we're going to be sponsoring that and we're starting a foundation, a youth entrepreneur foundation and boot camp to train kids in entrepreneurship. Yes, we are. Uh, we got a lot to get done, Fabian. 
and I'm looking so much forward to it. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's been a long day for us even today, but uh, this is what keeps us going and keeps our energy level up. The challenge and the think about the task upon us. And I'm I'm up for it. Are you ready to run things? Oh in? man, I, I I was born for this, and <laughs> and 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 mainly right now too. Just as a note to everyone, we are now embarking on training veterans, veterans who need and want to learn how to go oh, in great. business for themselves. We're giving pro bono training sessions to those veterans to go into business. We're also helping veterans buy franchises and also to acquire businesses as well. So, you know, uh, membership to the club right now is free. But uh, later on, there'll be a slight charge, probably. You know, probably not. It, once again, it's all up to you and what you want. And uh, start thinking about the questions you have about entrepreneurship. We're going to need to know that. We're going to have a, a number that you text to eventually in future shows also. And we're going to have fun with this also. And this is your show not only our show. Yeah, just reiterating again with Barry talking about this is your show. Our aim is not to put more feathers in our cap. Our aim is to make you great. We want to create community champions who can create businesses within their own locale, indigenous people in various communities across the country who we can support, fund, so, and give them the knowledge and the mentorship that they need to be successful and dominate their market. We are here for the long run, and we are here for multi-generational growth in wealth creation as well as job creation. We are here for the long run, and we will bring the top 1% of all the thought experts in the world to bear to assist us in our mission in our communities. And I just wanted to note that I am an advocate for education, but the thing that I see over and over again is that most time, entrepreneurship is not an option you know they have this thing where they said I want you to get a good education so you go out and get a good job okay and some people do well in the corporate world but what about those who don't what about those who feel that they just don't fit into that corporate environment you know those are the people we want to reach out to because an entrepreneur does not fit into the corporate environment As a matter of fact they shun the corporate environment and you know they don't know why that they just can't work for anybody else and that's because they have that entrepreneurial spirit and we want to nurture that and show them what to do with it well Barry, we have our work cut out for us uh, we are very excited uh, we believe that this kickoff and this debut uh, regarding the entrepreneurial club is a most needed thing in our community we look at this as a, an alternative medium and I just want to say also, uh, we have a, a stage two uh, uh, production here who is actually. Uh, oh, stage the show. Yeah, yeah stage the yeah, show. Yeah, that's who put together this beautiful stage yeah, it's, with this state-of-the-art technology. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And, and they're giving us a platform to be able to communicate in the 22nd century technology, as a, a young man here told me, so that we are able to now facilitate and go in everyone's bedroom if necessary to assist them in wealth creation and to assist them in order to be prosperous in the future. Yeah, we're going to get uh, some members of stage to show on future shows to talk about this technology. Because I'll tell you, Fabian, when I walked in and saw this, I was just blown away. I mean, uh, these are state-of-the-art LED panels. I'm not going to even steal the thunder uh, because uh, the technology, I'm not worthy to talk about. You know, I know how to stay in my lane. But we're going to get them on here to talk about that technology, Fabian. Oh, yeah, well, not only did I see how... Uh, state of the art the technology was but the professional staff the 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 overall ambience and and the creation and and the whole uh, intent one of the uh, young men put together for us an, a logo and backdrops just based on our ideas and minutes uh, the imagination and the creativity here is huge so we need to take advantage of this platform because this is the medium of the new communication to the world and, you know, getting back to entrepreneurship, uh, there are certain common denominators among entrepreneurs. Uh, one, what they read, what they think, 
how they think, when they sleep, not often, <laughs> okay, their drive. And we're going to uh, talk about those things in, in depth, each one of those qualities of an entrepreneur. And we're going to teach people how to use those and monetize those and monetize those because that's key, you know, uh, not only to learn the principles, but how to make money with those principles. Excellent, Barry. You're absolutely right. And another thing, on the other side of that coin, we want people to know um, we don't, we're not producing bubblegum jobs or burger flipping jobs. We're talking about major principal areas of competence where there's billion dollar industries taking place globally. We want to affix the talents and the gifts that people have to the most bona fide and strongest industry that the world has. It's one thing to be talented, but if you never can be and go to the NBA All-Star game, no one ever really knows how talented you really are. Hmm. You got to go to the world stage to prove out talent. And you said something there when you said the world. Uh, for one, we're streaming over the internet, www, World Wide Web. We want to teach entrepreneurs to get out of their uh, regular demographics and go out and reach out and market their goods and services to the world, not just to their local municipality, and how to, how to conquer the world through entrepreneurship. World-class citizens, um, global citizens, those are the steps that the new entrepreneurs and the new leaders of the world have to take. We have to step beyond our ghettos and step into the world stage and claim our heritage as being men and women of the world. We want to teach individuals how to become that through entrepreneurship. We believe entrepreneurship is one of the most noblest endeavors that an individual can undertake solely for to create a new job that was never there before. Entrepreneurs are the salt of the earth and have been that way for thousands of years. And it's a lot of uh, philosophies, and we're going to teach people how to develop a balance. Matter of fact, we're going to have a show on old school versus new school and how to develop a balance between the two. Because it's not one over the other. You've got to be able to leverage both of them. New school, streaming technology like what we're using now. Um, QR codes mobile marketing, and a host of other things. But old school, pick up the phone, travel, face-to-face -face communications. That does not go away. And so we want to teach people the importance of both old school and new school. We also want to share with everyone strategies, uh, various strategies that works for Amazon or works for Infusionsoft or works for the greats. And, and compare those business models so you can understand what you can use and fit into your own model to make yours more effective and more profitable. So we're going to go through a lot of strategy sessions as well, and then we're going to tactically show you how to implement them. And other uh, topics will be uh, increasing your bottom line through technology and how you know, have strategies like a Facebook strategy. You know, it's one thing to have a Facebook page, but then you have to have a strategy on how that's going to help monetize your business. Most people do not. Do you? And, of course, one of the key attributes that all entrepreneurs have to have is raising capital. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you how to raise capital, how to get involved both in equity as well as debt transfers. That's so big. you can understand what you're giving up and what you're not and what you need in all your growth phases. Wow. Yes, we have our work cut out for us, but we're up to the challenge, and we're going to have a lot of exciting shows. Like uh, one of them is going to be titled Children's to Become Millionaires Through Entrepreneurship. The parents are really excited about that because there's a trend now where the average child is leaving the nest at 30 years old. Oh, I do. Come up off the floor, parents, you know. We're going to try to change that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, this is a new generation. Unfortunately, one of the things that I've noticed is the new generation, there's a, a, a thing of, uh, I would say, uh, I'm trying to be politically correct here, Barry, but I think I better just go ahead and say it. Uh-oh. 
uh, laziness. And so primarily, uh, we are out to eliminate laziness. We eliminate because we believe that laziness breeds deception and, and dishonesty, and dishonesty breeds criminality. So our objective is to get everybody off their tough and uh, no work, no eat, and we're going to train you how to be successful for the rest of your life and, and plant those trees with the right seeds and the fertile ground that you can cultivate and grow. That's our objective. Also, it's going to be a lot of character de development. We believe the new leaders and the new entrepreneurs of the world are going to have the most highest degrees of ethics and, and character. And those who are the most honest, the most forthright, the ones that uh, have forbearance and a constitution in their heart, those are going to be the ones that win. The ones who are shiftless, criminal-minded, sociopath, psychopath, criminals, mm -hmm. we're going to assist them to go to jail. Okay, millenniums, uh, you know, uh, come on back. You know, we're going to work with you. You know, don't let Fabian scare you away. Okay, we're going to teach you how to uh, monetize those skills you have with Facebook, um, Instagram, and everything else. We're going to te teach you how to turn it into income. Okay, so don't leave us. You know, uh, you know I, I know Fabian can come at you a little strong sometimes, but it's all out of love. And remember, we practice tough love in our community. We believe that tough love will get spines in people that have very loose spines. We feel tough love is what's needed in our community. No more cuddling, no more pampering, no more petting. You won't get that here at the Entrepreneur Club. You're going to get straight, no, no, no chaser, just all straight. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, you know, this, this is so much fun, Fabian, and we could go on and on with this, but we got to start winding down, you know. So I think we've covered most of the stuff that we're going to uh, be going through with the Entrepreneur Club. Uh, we're up to this, uh, the challenge. I say let's get ready, let's get set, let's go. And let's, let me tell you something, folks. You're in for a joy. It's going to be some raw, some real, but all relevant. And you're going to be in for a joy. And if it's not for you, uh, get one of your kids, your siblings, some, an offspring, someone who is interested in being and going in business for themselves. I think we would have a lot to offer for them. And in, in closing, uh, I just want to say that I know some of you had an entrepreneurial desire, but everybody's telling you that you can't do it. This is the club that you, you want to come to. We're going to encourage that spirit. And we're going to also teach you how to talk to the people who tell you what you can't do and how to show uh, the results of your efforts. Thanks well, a lot. Can I say one last thing? I guess you can. Thanks, Bear. We practice a six model real quickly for everyone here, and you will see us roll this out throughout all of our shows. We believe there has to be a higher network. You, then you have an earthly network. Then you have mentors. Then you have to have a great team, you got to have great tools, and you have to have systems. We have found if you practice those six elements, most often you're going to be successful in your family, your business, and in your life. Thanks again to the Stage to Show team for all your help and uh, helping us get this to market. Thanks, guys. I can't hurt